My dad has been in jail since I was one. And like, he should be getting out this year, but like, it's been hard without my father. I think that, um, that my dad shouldn't have done what he done, even though my mother didn't really tell me what he did. And I think that, um, that it would have been better if he was home with us. He said that when he gets out, that he would love us and that he wouldn't like let us go. Whenever I say, Mom, like, can I go to the Bunny Girl Club, she always says yes, because she thinks that it's a very safe place and that it's like a place that me and my sister should be going a lot. The staff members and everybody there always appreciates me. Like when I do something white, right, they like congratulate me and they like, they're always around me. Like they never, um, they're never mean to me. And I just really appreciate that. My parents are originally not from this country, they're from Iran. At the time, Iran was becoming a bad country. The regime was changing, the, the president and everything right there was changing. It wasn't a free country anymore. A lot of the stuff was different, so my dad had to escape from there with my mom. Before I changed my name legally, my name was Zara Mohammedpour. So people would call me a terrorist and it was a lot of discrimination that I had to face. I grew up not surrounding myself with the right people. In middle school, I would get into a lot of fights. The Boys and Girls Club handed me a lot of opportunities and I got the chance to take advantage of all those opportunities. I've definitely become a different person in a very positive way. The Boys and Girls Club's definitely changed the person I am. My parents um, are sick right now. Both of them have cancer. I know that I need to be successful in life to make my parents proud of me. So the Boys and Girls Clubs really helped me with that. I changed the people I surround myself with. I'm in a different environment. I'm the best I could possibly ever be. And if anything, my Boys and Girls Club's always here to help me out through anything I need. The Boys and Girls Club, to me, it's, I would say it's a home away from home. I, Going there, I know a lot of, there's a lot of people that I trust who I can have fun and feel safe around. Uh, growing up in school, I was always that kid that got picked on. I was never the most popular. The Boys and Girls Club is a different way of life because the atmosphere that it provides. Because you go, you go into the Boys and Girls Club and you find, you'd be surprised how many of the kids and your peers there are like-minded. They may come from two different worlds. They may come from two different cliques or groups or, you know, social, economic status backgrounds. But together at the Boys and Girls Club, everybody just blends. It's like one mixing pot. My trust level at the Boys and Girls Club, it's, it's really great because I know going in, I can trust all the staff there. I can trust the directors. Realistically, if I did not find the Boys and Girls Club, I think my life would have turned to a lot of drug and alcohol abuse because that is the number one, that's the common coping mechanism for especially kids our age. And especially with, you know, the dealers or people just trying to make money, they know that there's a lot of damaged teens, unfortunately, out there in the world. And they know that they're easy targets. And it, it really pains me to say that. And it pains me to see a lot of my peers as well, knowing what they go through, knowing that some have even committed suicide or they've cut themselves, they turn to drugs. It's just really unfortunate and it, it hurts me a lot to see that and I'm glad that through the Boys and Girls Club, it's helped me avoid all of it. Kind of a cliche, you know, the club kind of saved my life or, you know, definitely a place for me, but it really was. Um, I was fortunate, I had both my parents growing up and uh, I just never saw them. I mean, they were always working. You know, my mother and my father were always working. I saw um, my mom before I went to school uh, my dad was already at work by the time I, you know, by the time I got up and was going to school. And when I got home, my dad was either in bed because he had to be up early the next morning to, to go back to work, and my mother would begin home after I got home. So the clubhouse was definitely, you know, my, my second home for sure. And I have uh, friends who I've lost friends, you know, due to either violence, due to drugs or or uh, gangs, gang violence. I have uh, friends who are locked up. Um, and you know, for whatever bad decisions they have, and absolutely, I think the Boys and Girls Club would have been, it would have been a deterrent for them as well. I mean, I definitely, I would definitely say that it changed me. I mean, I, I again, I still keep in touch with 
Uh, a lot of the mentors I had that were there when I was a kid, I still keep in touch with them. We provide an, uh, activities and programs for kids to grow and flourish. As long as they have a goal and, and a path in mind, you know, we'll, we want to help them get there. Uh, and it's not until we get some of these parents inside our clubhouses that they see, oh man, this, there's a whole lot more to offer. You know, we, their kids can learn about computers and how to use them. It's not just for surfing the internet and, and Facebook and, you know, and uh, we have arts and crafts and we have our sports programs and our sports leagues and we have tons of workshops and classes, you know, to kind of, to make a well-rounded individual. So we want to make sure that when they age out of the Boys and Girls Club, they go on to college, that they have all the school, all the skills necessary to kind of thrive and be successful. These are our future kids. These are our future leaders. These are our future doctors, lawyers, policemen, uh, senators, rep you know, representatives, presidents, whatever the case may be. You know, not, I, don't, I don't need the notoriety, but I hope that I make a positive change in these kids. I hope that, um, in dealing with me or in dealing with the Boys and Girls Club or being in the Boys and Girls Club that they're going to be able to make those positive choices in life and thrive.